Okay, so I need to update you on where things stand. I'm sitting in the RV. Um, I'm over in the storage facility right now. It's actually raining out, so it's not a very Floridian day today. But, um, so the last I left, uh, the, I had driven the RV back to storage. The electrical for the fridge was not hooked up. Uh, and the fridge was still sort of hanging out a little bit, but I just needed to get it out of my driveway. Uh, where we stand now um, is that there, there were, so first of all, I'm dealing with the electrical. I'll show that to you in a minute. I think I'm pretty close to having that, at least at a point where I can test turning it on and see if the darn thing works. Uh, but I think I've got everything um, hooked up correctly, but we won't know until afterward. But I did run into a kink uh, with, the, uh, with the hose of all things. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So it came in when I was going to wire this thing for the, the new fans. I was, you know, they say you can run this down through the drainage hose. I was like, fine. And as I come over here, you can start to see where we, what, what, where we're, things stood. The way it worked out was that this drainage hose, um, I couldn't get anything through it, and it was because, unbeknownst to us, the line was actually kinked up on the inside. See, we've got a gap in here. I've already showed that in the video. Now, uh, in my emails with uh, JR, he says that should not be any problem as long as it's sealed off nicely from the outside and everything. He says it should still work just fine. Um, but then we had, had this issue where I think what was happening is that this line was in here sort of like that, and it was kinked up, okay? Um, and we, so we probably, even though we were pulling on the line when we put the cooling unit in place, probably it was not enough. And so this line was kinked up there, nothing would go through it, it was sort of stuck in place. Um, and... I didn't really know what to do about it, so I exchanged emails with uh, JR, and he recommended that I basically just give it a good solid yank. And that's what I did. So I pulled it out. The line, as you can see, this line now goes in and out just fine, exactly like it's supposed to. I did kind of make a little hole there, unfortunately. Um, but um, but it's done, and there is a little bit of a hole on it, but I, I can just uh, fix that up. I don't think I need a new line. So what I'm gonna do is just see if, uh, if he recommends I put any foam in that or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that didn't go according to plan. If we come out here, again, it's raining right now, so uh, hopefully that's not too loud. But basically, I spent some time yesterday, oops, looking at the side of the motor hub. Uh, getting all this in place and it's still you know I, I don't have the ice maker thing hooked up yet um, it's still pulled back I don't have this set up yet but most of the electrical other than that um, fan that's up inside it should be hooked up so I'm, I'll test everything again but basically the instructions here are the instructions I got everything uh, more or less hooked up the way I think it needs to be and I was getting really close to turning everything on and testing it until uh, I ran into that hose problem. So that's kind of where things stand. Uh, I, I didn't film actually doing it because I was too busy doing it. <laughs> and the other thing is that it doesn't really even help all that much to watch me do it because for the most part, uh, the the instruction videos and the, and the diagram that they send you for your control board shows you what to do so you just do what they say and in one case i was a little confused about where something went and i called them and he i had a guy on the phone really quick and answered the question so it's it's pretty a to b you don't need me to show you how to do it i'm just kind of documenting what it's actually like to do it in real life uh because in real life it definitely takes longer to do uh than what their video shows because i'm not really used to it and then again i ran into that issue with the drainage hose which i did not expect that should be like the easiest part <laughs> of the project and so it is what it is so now i'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that um i'll have to fix the drain line uh maybe seal out that hole uh put a little foam maybe on this side of it and on the outside of it um and then we should be okay. I mean, it sounds to me like, at least from uh, JR's communications with me, that uh, the system isn't overly sensitive. Like, even though there's a little bit of a gap back there, he says, yeah, we get that sometimes. It's not a big deal as long as everything is sealed off from the outside. 
So it, it sounds like uh, everything should still work, at least that's what we're hoping.